Hey, homies, I'm Steven Iwashi, and this is a 20 minute intermediate flow. We're just gonna get right into it. We're gonna start this class standing up. So I hope you enjoyed this little moment you had seated. Let's get ready. Unroll your mat, stand at the top of your mat, and I'll see you there in just a few seconds. <laughs> So that was our time sitting. Now we got 20 minutes to flow. Please stand up. Stand in Tadasana at the top of your mat, and let's do some sun salutations to get us into our body, get us out of our head, and get us moving. Stretch your arms up overhead for the Hastasana, and stay here for a moment. Push down through your feet. Stretch up through your fingers. Stretch through your whole body. Let's get into that body. Stretch up. Maybe stretch your left arm a little higher. Set your right arm up a little higher. See if you can stretch them both up as high as you can. And fold forward, Uttanasana. And stay here for a moment, fold in. Start to tap into your breath, tune into your breath, and see how you're feeling. Come up onto your fingertips and lift your chest for Ardha Uttanasana. Straighten your arms, stay here. Move your shoulders away from your ears. Squeeze your legs in a little, and then use that to stretch your spine longer. And take it back to Palakasana, Plank Pose. Place your hands flat, step it back, bring your shoulders over your wrists, squeeze your thighs in, and lengthen through your spine. Chaturanga to Nasana, bend your elbows and lower, and hold Chaturanga. Hug your thighs in here, lengthen through your spine, and upward facing dog. Push your toes down, squeeze your thighs in, lift your chest, and downward facing dog. Pedal it out a little, stretch one leg straight, then the other. Stretch your heel back and down to stretch your calf muscles, wake them up. Change sides, or you can just do it dynamically if you like, just keep pedaling them. Bend both knees, look forward, and move forward. Ardha Uttanasana, lift your chest. Uttanasana, fold forward. And Urdhva Hastasana, stretch your arms up, stand up. Tanasana. All right, that was, that was our warm up. Let's get a little warm. Inhale, reach up. And exhale, fold forward. Squeeze your legs in, inhale, lift your chest. And then make your way to Chaturanga Nasana. You can walk to plank or jump and lower. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Squeeze your thighs in a little towards each other and lift your hips up and back with that. Steady your breath. Follow your breath in. Bend your knees, look forward, exhale. And make your way forward, float or walk. And with your inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. And exhale, Uttanasana. Stand up, Urdhva Hastasana or Namaskar. Hands together, look up. And Tadasana. Again, inhale up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lift. Make your way to Chaturanga Nasana. Exhale. Up dog, inhale. Down dog, exhale. Inhale, exhale, feel your hands on the mat, inhale, push your hands down and forward, exhale, bend your knees, inhale, lift your heels, look forward and exhale, and with your breath out, move forward, Ardha Uttanasana for your inhale. Uttanasana, exhale. Squeeze your legs in to help you get steady and rise up. Urdhva Hastasana or Namaskar. Exhale, Tadasana. Two more. Inhale up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lift. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, Urdhva Mukhashvanasana. Exhale, Abdha Mukhashvanasana, aka down up. Inhale. Exhale. Squeeze your arms in a little. Inhale. Squeeze your legs in a little. Exhale. 
inhale bend your knees lift your heels up forward exhale and move forward with your breath out inhale Ardha Uttanasana exhale Uttanasana squeeze your legs in stand up reach up inhale Tadasana exhale one more Surya Namaskar A inhale up exhale fold inhale half lift Chaturanga Dandasana exhale up dog inhale down dog exhale we're just going to take one breath here inhale and exhale bend your knees look forward and make your way forward inhale Ardha Uttanasana exhale Uttanasana stand up Urdhva Namaskar or Urdhva Hastasana Tadasana something different inhale stretch out exhale fold forward stay with me inhale lift your chest a little and then we're going to jump to plank pose place your hands flat bend your knees and jump to plank pose bend your knees and jump back to uttanasana and then stand up and reach up and bring your arms to your sides tadasana what the heck was that yeah it's a yoga burpee so let's speed it up See what it looks like. Reach up, fold forward, and bend your knees, touch the ground, and jump back to plank pose. And bend your knees, jump forward, stand up, and reach up. Straighten your arms and legs, and sit up. Inhale, reach up, fold forward, touch the ground, bend your knees, jump back to plank pose, exhale. Inhale, jump forward, and stand up, reach up. And keep going. Exhale, fold forward, jump back, plank. Inhale, jump forward and stand up. Exhale, fold forward, jump back, plank. What? Yep. Inhale, jump forward, stand up, reach up. Keep going. Exhale, fold forward, jump back, plank. Inhale, jump forward, stand up, reach up. Four more. Exhale, fold, jump back. Inhale, jump forward, and up. Exhale, fold forward, jump back. Inhale, jump forward, stand up. Two more. Exhale, fold, jump. Inhale, jump and stand. Last one, exhale, fold and jump. Inhale, jump and stand. Tadasana, exhale. It's a good way to get us out of our body. It really takes us inside. Steady your breath. Don't let it get away from you. Bring your feet together. I'm going to turn to face the camera just so you can see me a bit better, but you can stay at the top of your mat. First pose, Vrikshasana, tree pose. Bring your right leg up, tree pose. Stretch your arms up overhead when you're ready. And steady your breath. Push your left leg in to your right foot. Hug in to stabilize your leg and your hip. Take your left arm out to the side. Lift your right knee and grab your right big toe. Going to Uttika Hasta Padagustasana 2. Push your right knee out and open to the side. Externally rotate your leg. And lift your right heel. Maybe straighten your right leg. Hug your left thigh in. Hug your outer left hip in. Uttika Hasta Padagustasana 2. Smile. We're going to take our right leg forward for one leg standing pose or Uttika Eka Padasana. Extended one leg. Take your right leg forward. You can do arms up or hands to your hip, hips, whatever. <laughs> Stretch out to your right leg, and this is where I'm going to turn to face the top of my mat again so that I'm with you. Right leg forward. Stretch your arms up, bend into your left knee a little, bend into your right knee. We're going to a lunge. Take your right leg back slowly and step it back, lift your torso, crest lunge, Ashta Chirasana. Stretch up, stretch your left knee forward, and breathe. Squeeze your thighs in so that you can get a little more height and length in your upper body. And draw it in to open it up. Hold your right wrist with your left hand and stretch up. Stretch back through your right leg and do a side bend here. Standing side bend but with crescent legs. We call this one crescent crescent because we're doing crescent in our upper body and what's often called crescent in our lower body. Inhale, come back up to center, stretch both arms up, 
Keep reaching up and slowly lower your right knee to the ground. Place your right foot flat on the ground. Push your hips down and forward. Lift your chest up and out of your hips. Andreasana. Push down through your right foot and squeeze your thighs in so you can lift your chest up and back more. Steady your breath. Come forward, bring your hands to the ground. On either side of your left foot and tuck your right toes. Going into Ardha Hanumanasana. Shift your hips back, lift your ball of your left foot off the ground and slide your left foot forward until your left leg is straight. Right thigh is straight up and down approximately. Lift your chest. Straighten your left leg. Push the ball of your foot away and take your chest out and over your left leg for Ardha Hanumanasana. Lift your head and chest, come back to the lunge. Shift your hips forward, walk your hands forward, lift your right knee, step back to downward facing dog. But we're gonna keep going. Vashisthasana to the right, sometimes called side plank. Turn on the outer edge of your right foot, stack your feet, stretch your left arm up. If stacking your feet and having your left hand off the ground isn't possible, there's a kickstand variation I really like. You take your top leg and you step your foot, just in front of your hips. So that's the variation that I recommend, or feet together. And if you want to take it a bit further, you can bend your left knee and grab your big toe, like we did in Uttita Hasta Padavistasana. Open your left knee, open your left heel, maybe work towards straightening both legs, but you do you. Downward facing dog. Plank, Chaturanga, Up Dog, Down Dog. Inhale, steady it here. Come back to your breath. Inhale. Exhale, squeeze your arms in, squeeze your legs in, lift your hips up. Inhale. Bend your knees, lift your heels, exhale, look forward, and with your breath out, move forward. Inhale, lift your chest, squeeze your legs in and fold forward, Uttanasana. Keep squeezing your legs in, stand up and reach up, inhale, and exhale, Tadasana. So I'll say, facing the top to this side, take your left leg up for Brikshasana, to repose, bring your left foot onto the inside of your right leg. Stretch your arms up, squeeze your right leg into your left foot, and stretch out through your left knee. So really tighten up your outer right butt, hug it in, so your right foot is pushing into your left leg. Grow your tree from there. And take your right arm out to the side for support. I've got the wall in the way, so I feel like going so far. Lift your left knee, grab your left big toe, and then open your left knee out to the side. And maybe open the sole of your left foot up, up, up. And maybe straighten your left leg. Uttita Hasta Padagasasana 2. Hug your right outer hip in and stretch out through both legs. Lift through your torso. And bring your left leg forward. Let go of it for Uttita. Or sorry, yeah. Uttita Eka Padasana. I don't know why I said sorry. Uttita Eka Padasana. Bring your hands to your hips or stretch them straight up. One leg standing pose. And then we're going to crescent lunge. Stretch your arms up, bend your right knee, bend your left knee, step your left leg back into the lunge. Grab your right wrist, stretch up. Sorry, grab your left wrist. We grab your right wrist before. Stretch up and straighten your left leg. Stretch your right knee forward and reach up and side bend. Crescent, crescent to call it this one. Shorten your right side. Stretch long through your left side. Stretch back through your left leg. And then come back up to center. Separate your hands. Slowly lower your left knee down to the ground. Untuck your left toes. Place your foot flat. Push your hips down and forward. Then lift your chest up and out of your hips. Anjaneyasana. Back bend. Take your thumbs back. Push down through your left foot. Squeeze your thighs in. Lift your chest up and back. Come forward. Bring your hands down to the ground. 
and then tuck your left toes, shift your hips back. Ardha Hanumanasana. You can do that with right toes tucked, which I, or sorry, left toes tucked, which I instructed here, or didn't do that on the first side, did foot flat. See if you like one over the other. Stretch your chest out over your right leg and fold forward, half Hanuman. Stretch your chest towards your right foot. Pull your right hip back to keep straightening your leg and stretching your hamstrings. Steady your breath, squeeze your thighs in to draw you in. Back to lunge, shift forward. Bring your hands forward, tuck your left toes if your foot's flat, and downward facing dog. Lift your left knee, step your right leg back, down dog. Vashistasana, to the other side, to the left. Turn the outer edge of your left foot, and choose right foot in front of your hips, or right foot on top of your left foot. Stretch your right arm up, and look up. Okay, if you want to take this a little further, bend your right knee, grab your big toe, and do full Vashistasana, Adding what we call standing, Uttita Hasta Padagustasana. And then downward facing dog. Shift forward to plank pose. Bend your elbows, squeeze your legs in, Chaturanga Nasana. Upward facing dog, keep hugging your thighs in. Downward facing dog. Inhale here. Exhale here. Inhale, squeeze your upper arms in. Exhale, hug your upper thighs in. Inhale. Exhale, bend your knees forward and move forward. Ardha Uttanasana, inhale. Uttanasana, exhale. Squeeze your legs in, stand up and reach up. Tadasana, exhale. All right, we're gonna go through that flow like it's a flow. Inhale, Vrikshasana, tree pose. Exhale, Vrikshasana, tree pose. Lift your right knee, take your left arm up to the side. Inhale, Uttita Hasta Padagustasana. And exhale, find your Uttita Hasta Padagustasana. Extend that one leg. Inhale, bring your right leg forward. Uttita Ekabadasana. Exhale, standing, one leg standing. Inhale, stretch your arms up, bend both knees, step back to lunge. And with your exhale, Lunge. Hold your right wrist. Inhale, stretch up, straighten your right leg. And exhale, side bend to the left. Crescent, crescent. Inhale, come back at the center. Slowly lower your right knee. Exhale, place your right foot flat. Anjaneyasana. Stay here for another breath. Inhale up. Back bend. Hug your thighs in. Exhale. Inhale, come forward to the lunge. Tuck your right toes. Shift it back for Ardha Hanumanasana. Inhale, lift your chest. And exhale, Ardha Hanumanasana. Inhale, lift your chest, come back to the lunge. And exhale, Vashistasana. Take your left leg up if you're going there. Inhale here. And exhale here. Inhale to plank pose. And exhale, Chaturanga Dhanasana. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. One breath here, inhale. Exhale, bend your knees, look forward, and move forward. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, Uttanasana. Inhale, stand up and reach up. Exhale, Tadasana. Left leg, inhale, Rikshasana. And then find it. Exhale. Uttita Hasta Padigastasana. Inhale, grab your left big toe. And exhale, open it up to the left. Uttita Ekapatasana, standing one leg. Inhale, bring your left leg forward. And exhale here. Bend into both knees, crescent lunge. Inhale, step your left leg back. And lift your torso, crescent lunge. Exhale. Hold your left wrist, stretch up and straighten your left leg. Inhale, side bend, crescent, crescent. Exhale. Inhale, come back to crescent, bring your left knee down to the ground. Exhale. Place your left foot flat on Janayasana. Inhale, lift your chest up and back. Squeeze your legs in and stay here. Exhale. Come forward, hands down. Inhale, shift it back. Set up for Ardha Hanumanasana. Exhale, and then lift your chest and fold forward. Exhale. 
Inhale, lift your chest. And exhale, lunge. Going to Vashisthasana. If you're going to the full thing, you can take your right foot with you as you lift your left knee, take it back, and go all the way up into Vashisthasana. Whichever variation you're doing. And exhale, plank pose, Chaturanga Dhanasana. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale. Exhale, we're gonna stay low. So jump through so you can come down to seated. Bend your knees, look forward, and dream big. Jump through. Stretch your legs out in front of you, and sit down. Like that, or like you do it. Lean back on your hands, bring your feet up. Take your right leg underneath your left. Cross your left leg over top. Ardha Matsandrasana, stretch up through your right arm, lift up through your spine, and twist to the left. Hug your left knee in and touch your left leg with your right arm. Stretch up. Twist and slow down your breath. Slow down your energy. Bring yourself back down a little as you settle in into yourself. And start to cool it down as you amazingly start to heat up. As soon as we Pause the flow, and our body has a chance to like, let us know how hot it is. Come back to center. Take your hands back behind you, lean back, lift your legs, and change the cross of your legs. So left leg on the bottom, right leg on top. Stretch your left arm up, stretch your spine up, and twist to the right. Hook your left arm outside your right leg. Stretch up through your spine, and twist. Even though we're twisting in our upper body, hug your legs in. Use that draw in to open your upper body. Come back to center. Untwist. Stretch your legs out in front of you. Pashimottanasana. Seated forward fold. Stretch your arms up. Straighten your legs and fold forward. If you can keep your legs straight and grab your feet, do. Otherwise, hold your legs where you can keep them straight. Pull on your legs, stretch your head towards your feet, straighten your legs, and then make your upper body heavier over your legs. Get heavy and weighty. Keep holding on your legs. Lift your head and chest. Sit up. Bring your knees into your chest as you come onto your back. Now for me, we haven't really done yoga if we don't do Shavasana. So even in my short online classes, we're always going to get a little Shavasana. I'm going to give us about a minute of Shavasana here. If you have time for longer, please take it. You can just hit pause during Shavasana. And then when you're done, hit play again, and come back to the ending of this class. Stretch your legs out. Set yourself up for a short, sweet Shavasana. Tuck your shoulders underneath you. Relax your arms, your legs, your belly. Relax your breathing. Relax your eyes. focused on drawing in through this whole class. Now just spend a little bit of time there, inside. Deepen your breath. Move a little as you like. When you're ready, bend your knees and turn onto your side. 
find your way up to seated. And come to a seated position. And draw ourselves in one last time before we finish. Bring your hands together in front of your heart. Close your eyes and just look inside briefly. Come back to that place that we've been drawing into as we practice. Hello, how are you? That's sort of what I'm hoping you'll say to yourself. Hello, how are you? And also, thank you. And thank you. Thanks for making time for yourself. Thanks for practicing. Namaste. And that's our quick hit of flow. Hope you enjoyed that. Hope it got you moving, got you into your body, and gave you a little break from all of the thoughts and busyness that's going on in our minds. Thanks for practicing. If you've got any questions about the class, please put it in the comments below. And if you would like to do another class with me, there's one I recommend. You can click on it, add to your watch later list. And if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel yet, just click on my picture that's over there and subscribe. It's easy as that. Thanks, homies. Have a great day.